please permit me to ask this rather innocuous, stupid or foolish question. The moment the new administration, the good new government announced that there was no subsidy in the budget return, that's petroleum subsidy in the budget return, that means there was no more muscle for a subsidy. Philly stations that had fuel suddenly stopped selling. So that means they were waiting to cash in on the new regime, sell old stock at a higher price. People that had fuel in their vehicles, maybe half time, suddenly rushed to Philly station to want to go at least fill up. You don't know how much is in their pocket anyway. And so, but if you buy today, are you not going to still buy next week? And some persons were caught on our way, flat footed, they didn't even have fuel. And so now everybody is at the filling station, the queues are back, and everybody seems confused. So where lies the problem? Is it with the barber, the air, or the clipper? People who told us then in 2012 that subsidy, removal of subsidy was at least a remover or a breach of the pact with the people, today are saying it is the right thing to do, let us remove subsidy. So what has changed? I can't even remember any of the presidential candidates campaigning with retaining sub subsidy. So maybe I, I might be wrong. You just remind me. Some persons who promised that they were going to fix the refineries before removing subsidy had come and gone eight years and the refineries are not working. But we are celebrating that with the refinery anyway. Some persons also who told us that subsidy was from today retained subsidy for eight years and had to yank it off few days to the expiration of their tenure. People who criticized removal years back now are saying it is the right thing to do, is the right thing to do. Is it that subsidy is bad in itself or that the subsidy for petroleum product is finding its way into private pocket? If it is finding its way into private pocket, can we do something about it to ensure that this general suffering is avoided? And if it is bad, what is government subsidizing in all of this? What is government subsidizing for us? At least government should be able to subsidize something. So I want, I really want to learn when is the right time to remove it so that we don't have all of this queue. But some persons have said, whether you remove it now or later, you're still going to have this kind of panic situation. What can be done to ensure that even when it is removed, we don't have this kind of situation? Please, somebody should educate me because I am really, really, really confused. Because even people that did not campaign with retaining subsidy today are criticizing removal of subsidy. So everybody seems confused. So let's educate ourselves a bit, a, a, a bit, please. I want to learn like a primary school people. Thank you.